building codes require your deck to be tied back into your house. To install the USP ADTT-TZ Adjustable Deck Tie System, you will need the ADTT-TZ kit, which includes four ADTT-TZ adjustable deck tension ties, four hot-dipped galvanized USP WS8 screws, and 40 USP LL915 lumber lock screws. For tools, you will need a pencil to mark where to install the WS8 screw, a small level to align the ADTT, a corded or cordless drill with a 3 8 inch hex driver bit, and a number 20 Torx bit. Start the installation by removing the breakout washer. Using one of the WS8 screws, insert the tip into the breakout washer and pry towards the open end of the ADTT. A slight bend and twist is all you need to remove the washer from the body. Open the ADTT by inserting one of the WS8 screws into the 7 16 inch hole. Turn the ADTT over and press down on the WS8 and ADTT at opposite ends using the head of the WS8 as the pivot point. This opens up the ADTT so that the legs and brace can be grabbed to further bend open the ADTT. Mark the wall at the proper height to install the WS8 screw. In many cases, this height will match the ceiling height in a finished basement. Place the level against the side of the joint and mark the wall with a vertical line. The WS8 is installed 3 quarters of an inch from this vertical line at the center of the joist. For vinyl or cement board siding, we recommend drilling a quarter inch hole through the siding to help with the installation. For wood siding, this quarter inch hole is not required. Slide the ADTT onto the bottom of the joist. By pinching the legs of the ADTT together before sliding it over the joist, the ADTT will stay in place while you install the WS8 screw. Insert the WS8 screw into the smaller hole of the breakout washer. With the washer in place, insert the WS8 screw through the hole in the ADTT and into the hole in the siding. Using a drill with a 3 8 inch hex bit, drive the WS8 screw into the wall framing. The screw should penetrate into the wall framing a minimum of 3 inches. For proper installation, only the smooth shank of the WS8 screw should be visible. Pull the ADTT away from the house until the head of the WS8 and washer are tight to the ADTT. Using a level, adjust the legs until they are vertical. Using a drill with a number 20 Torx bit, install the four lumber lock screws into the vertical legs, two each side. With the front brace tight to the bottom of the joist, install six lumber lock screws into the front brace, three each side. After all of the lumber lock screws are installed, tighten the WS8 screw until the breakout washer is snug against the body of the ADTT. Do not over tighten. For technical assistance and retail locations, call 1-800-328-5934.